Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about the trigger on user action in the Salesforce integration. All right, so this is our demo project here, and uh, I'm just gonna head over to the project settings, Salesforce integration, and we'll take a look at the uh, get in this instance. All right, so we have here trigger on load, and we have a get running, and you have trigger on user action and auto trigger. So what we're going to talk about in this video is trigger on user action. Now, this is really, really powerful because what this means is whenever something runs, uh, whenever you have a Salesforce integration, you can decide when to invoke it. And you can invoke it from multiple places, uh, multiple times, depending on how you want to uh, run this. So this is very, very powerful. So you can reuse the same get or push to run whenever you like it to run based on a condition, based on a, a button click or whatever it is, or, or, a, or a landing on a page the first time or landing on a page every single time. Uh, it's very versatile. So uh, let me show you what, we got, what we're doing with this get and we'll try and mimic this uh, as best as we can. Um, all right, so what we have here is just a simple call for um, a product object we're getting a list of products and we're mapping it into our uh, product strip on our product page and i'll show you that page in just in just a second um let's take a look at our condition so we have a static condition saying give me the product give me all the products where the product code starts with 11 dash that, that should return like 10 or 15 products what we have in the demo uh, salesforce org and we mapped uh, we mapped some fields so here is our mapping and let's take a look at the page so i'm going to set this instead of on load i'm going to ch change it to user action and i'll hit apply and uh, you can see that the color of the uh, get changed to the trigger on user action color so we can easily see what's happening so you will typically have a lot more than one get i'm just uh, trying to keep it as simple as as uh, we can for this demonstration um, all right, I'm going to close this and let's publish our site. And before we do this, let me just show you the page here. So this is the product catalog page and here we're mapping the product information. This is a repeated uh, strip, so it will return everything onto that strip. Uh, so let's publish this guy. and. Let me show you what's going to happen now. So I'm going to head over to product catalog and nothing happened. I have no data. And the reason for this is that we did not run the get. We need to tell form Titan, listen, under cer certain circumstances, I would like you to run the get. So let's take a look where we can do this. And in our scenario where we're just loading it onto the product catalog page, we can say something like this. We can go to the page settings and then click configure on load action and then I'll click configure action and head over to Salesforce. We can see we have the product get test product um, right here available for us. So we can run this from here and if I'll hit apply and apply and publish and I'll launch the site and let's head over to the product catalog. We can see that it's running. And it ran because um, we told the page, whenever you load, please run the get. Let's see where else we can use this. So you can use it from any condition. I'm just going to show you. Let's add a button here. Say primary button. And we're going to change the text to load products. Obviously, it's not something that you would do. It's just I'm just showing you. The possibilities and you, you can use it with any conditions uh, that you wish to use it and you can use it like I've said in the beginning multiple times you can call the same get so let's head over to interactivity and I can say configure on click action and then I can say Salesforce action and then I can run that same get so I'll hit apply and let's just remove it from here so we will see it running whenever we press that button, so I'll remove this and I'll hit publish. And I'll hit product catalog 
All right, we didn't save it properly. So let's, let's save this again. I'll hit publish, launch the site and I'll click product catalog and nothing should happen. And we have nothing since we didn't run it on the page load. And that's a, that's a user action. It's the trigger on user action get. And we set it on the click. So whenever we click this, here is our get it's running so you can see the power of this you can use this let's say you had a different page that you're also loading products or you want to use it from different conditions you can say a uh, condition on a hidden field or anything you can imagine then these gets or pushes are available to you to use in the conditions so this is our trigger on user action and this is how it's done